Hi everyone, my name is Vice, and welcome back to Valhalla Cyberpunk Bart Interaction. So, I'm not homeless, that's good, but power's still out. So hopefully, I'll be able to get the power turned on relatively soon. But anyways, let's go to work. See what's going on in Glitch City. Good evening. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Gil, are you a humming shine spark? Ah, hey, Jill. Are you okay? You in love, maybe? Hmm? Nothing of the sort. I'm fine. Well, I mean, if you're in love, you could still be fine. But, right. No, seriously. Did you screw? Men only get so happy after they screwed. That's not. Oh my gosh, you totally did. Was it Alma? Did you have seven minutes in heaven with her? No, I didn't. In any case, congratulations. I haven't seen you this happy since... Well, never. I mean, he has the same... Flatline expression he always does, so... It didn't really seem that much different. Oh my gosh, no! No! Why is she here? Uh, today's escapades will bring us to a familiar place, and... Crap. Gil, I'm out, I'm gonna... Not so fast, fun bartender, if that's even your real name. That's not my real name. And why are there eights all over the place? <laughs> Last time, my viewership had a weird peak while I was passed out. So I'm here to find out what made people so interested. Eh. Eh. Hmm. <laughs> Do I have something in my face? This guy totally is rude. No doubt about it. Like, his eyes are unmistakable. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize you had heterochromia. Or maybe I did, I just forgot. <sighs> Whatever, just keep it down. Ah, Jill, you're here. Isn't that the passed out girl from two weeks ago? I'm not here! Okay. Oh, sorry. I'll be back in my office then. Hey, kids wanna die. Anyways. Stick with the standard playlist. Time to drink me. Yeah. Time to drink, mix, and live change. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Oh, hey. Um. You are too happy and you are not mopey. What happened? I was right. Yeah? That lower girl was head over heels for him. I was right on the money. Um. Say that girl. I'm not here! Sorry. Isn't she the one that passed out last time? Anyways, Bedward's was right and that deserves a beer. And you? Have fun. Okay, a Friday beer for a cheerful Betty. Wait, is it? Is it Friday? Huh. Oh yeah, it is Friday. Uh, I just got mixed up because that was like Saturday or something because the, the bills and hell yeah, don't know what I'm saying. But I'm gonna make a burr. So, beep, 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 and four, and two, and then four, and then, beep, 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 beep. really hope I didn't, okay, good. That actually only got a powder delta in there. But anyways, for the occasion, all right. So the girl was actually infatuated with him. Should have seen her, screamed on the top of her lungs as she liked him, and him just standing there thinking. Just like that. The retrospect was a tad too cliche for my taste. Brrr! Don't know what that was about. Still, I knew she liked him. I was right. I was right. He doesn't seem particularly happy. He never is. Unlike your co-worker. Holy crap. <laughs> You're making it too obvious, Gil. How? That beaming face is unmistakable. The face of a guy that got some and enjoyed every moment. <laughs> Back to deal though, like I said, he seems lost in thought. Okay, does has everyone just turned their filter off today? I mean, I expect this from Dorothy. Oh crap. If Dorothy comes in, that is gonna be... Uh. Victories like these are few and far between. Let me enjoy myself. Can I get something non-alcoholic here? That's not how you drown your sorrows, piece of scrap. I have a bloom light. Okay. A bloom light and something non-alcoholic. Now I think I can make a fluffy dream non-alcoholic, but I'm not sure. Aged on the rocks and mixed. For the 
Oh no, that's not the rotten chocolate milk drink, that's a uh, sunshine cloud. But unnecessarily brown, spicy, promo, bland. Spicy, like, how does spicy and bland go together? That, that doesn't make any sense at all to me. Ah, well. There you go. Oh, crap. Okay, I hit next. Okay. I thought I totally screwed that up, but okay. Fluffy Dream, I think I can make you... Yes, I can make you non-alcoholic. Asian mixed. A couple of these will make your tongue feel velvety -y. Velvety. More of them, you'll be sleeping soundly. So, I can make a nice, big, fluffy dream. That I have no idea how I remembered that, but thankfully I did. There you go. Thanks. Same. Celebrate all you want, but I'm freaking out here. I know nothing about relationships. I have no idea what to. Yeah, you seem very nervous and very freaked out right now. Well, for starters, what do you think, Jill? Me? Her? Betty, I've seen a few of your relationships. Remember her? She looks so mad. Aside from Veronica, this Angela, Pamela, Sandra, Rita, Monica, Erica, Tina, Mary, and Jessica. What is this, Mambo number five? Or should I say, didn't share the bed sheets, snores like a pig, cold feet, shampoo waster, chocolate addict, too religious, fan of the wrong rugby team, teetotaler, and chews with the mouth open. Okay, that last one is pretty bad. What do you think, Jill? That you must be quite the heartbreaker to have so many relationships in a short period of time. I made about piece of scrap situation. And thank you. I'm not the right person for this. Um, Gil? <laughs> He's still on Cloud9. Or is it screwing in Cloud9? What about... Sneaky Sneaky? I'll be damned, she actually hides pretty well. <sighs> for starters, how do you feel about her? I don't know. I don't know her that well. You could start there. Ask her out sometime, get to know her, maybe she'll change her mind, maybe you'll change yours. In the end, you lose nothing by... What? I'm just realizing I'm giving love advice to a Lilum. So I don't know how well it applies to you. Eh, these things are humans and all but organs nowadays anyways. Even if that's the case, it's interesting that she felt that way towards him. Why wouldn't she? This fellow's a good catch if I do say so myself. Like I said, humans and all but organs. You surely encountered alone that you sometimes forget are not humans. Well, we live in a world at times, or even weird at times, but hey, that all makes it more interesting. It's odd going to other cities and not seeing the same integration of Lilum, though. Well, Glitch City is pretty much the cradle of social experiments involving Lilum integration, so. <clears throat> anyway, just try to get to know her. You'll find out how you feel afterwards. Yeah, I think I'll try that. It's quite the uninspired advice, if you ask me. Anything else? Let's commemorate the occasion with a piano man and a piano woman. Now I need to serve a piano man and a piano woman. So there we go. And every time, okay, I just have to say this. Every time, on, rocks. Every time I make a piano man, I do not think of the song Piano Man. I think of the robot chicken parody of it. Where you had Billy Joel singing on your knees, I'm the piano god. I don't know why that's the one that pops in my head, but it is. If you haven't looked it up, you need to. It is absolutely hilarious. Like, he's taking from people's lives in the bar. Like, there's a sailor in there, and like, hey, you're singing about my life. And then he kills him in order to avoid copyright infringement. It, it's a very good sketch. But anyways, there we go. And now we reach a stalemate. Hello, young Tom Cruise. I normally take the piano man, but I feel like there's symbolic value about taking the woman. Hmm. Why would I like that then? Hmm? I hate Laura. You what? She's gonna take you away from me. Oh. You're my piece of scrap, not hers. You're mine. Mine. Betty, you don't own me. Besides, I can't for the life of me leave you alone. I feel like the moment I let you out of my sight, you'll just crash. <laughs> That's not a laughing matter. I need someone making sure you aren't kicking people. That's not normal, you know? Besides, it's not like I have something with her yet. 
you're right. So you won't leave me? I'd worry myself sick if I left you to your own devices, honestly. We should leave now. Okay, it seems like they're gonna get together. I mean, they honestly act like an old married couple anyway, so... Hey, wish the best of luck for them. Oh yeah, we're holding a small New Year's party this Sunday. I don't know if you want to come. We'll come. Are you sure? We will. Fine, we'll be here, Jill. Anyway, see you then. Bye, Bill. Please come again. I don't want you at the party. Please do not come to the party. Anyways, party! I'd love to go. But I told everyone on the Sunday I'd begin the New Year with the party myself, so... Sorry. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I totally forgot she was already here. Man, that was such bliss. Still, I can see how the traffic spiked. Things get fun here. And just like the last time, I need to show my viewers something fun. Give me something nasty. Show it something nasty again. Okay, so... Promo drinks, maybe? Sour Promo Bland. Okay, when I think nasty, I think something very strong. Yeah, this one's unbearable. So yeah, <laughs> grizzly unbearable. I've probably made that joke before, but I can't remember it, but okay. It's blended. But okay, I can't think of anything else that fits the bill of being nasty better than something that is called unbearable. So let's let this mix. And there we go. Okay, yes, you paid me. So that was right. This is the... <coughs> Hold on. It was nasty, all right. And now it's time for me to be a nice person and give you something nice. Yeah? It's the second time here, so it's only natural you get your own copy of my theme song. No, thank you. Don't be shy. Let me give you one. I mean it. No, thank you. I'm probably not going to add it to the jukebox, honestly. I mean, it's not a bad song, but I like my playlist. Well, too late. It's already in your player. That can't... How in the ever-living crap did you do it? Magic. That's bullcrap. Video editing magic. Did you just hack into the music player? Let's move on, shall we? Uh, too much clothing. You people are creepy. Hey, kids want to die? Uh, anyway, it was not a mistake. Yeah, whatever. Hey, weren't there dogs? Last time we talked to this place, it was this zany haven of sorts, but I see the same crap. Seriously, no decorations or anything of the like? Good question. Where are the dogs? Either they haven't paid enough attention to their arrival or they haven't come. Idols, newspaper managers, talking dogs. It's the same old bar like last time. I might sue you for fake advertising, you know. Now that I think about it, maybe Bosch just donated money to this Sierra thing. And then tricked the dog into coming here for as a part-timer for kicks. Oh well, anything interesting lately? I mean, it's not like I miss them. They should at least show their faces. Hello! Sorry, what'd you say? I was asking if there were any new stories. This isn't a newspaper, you know. Nerds are crazy stories on demand streaming service. Like you clearly are. That's a big fat lie and you know it. Shut up. But I said nothing. Hehe. <laughs> er, I meant... Oh, don't, don't worry, it was just the ghost that appears behind you and... How am I just now noticing the freaking Pokeball hovering above you? I mean, that's probably the webcam and that looks like a Pokeball. Like, I, that, that, that's not just me. That is a... that's a... that's a Pokeball. So shut that idea up. Yeah, that. I won't. Last time I came here, the viewership peaked for some reason. I don't want to find out why. Maybe Pretty Boy over there can tell the story of who he laid. Mm -hmm. He's so distracted he won't make a retort. Amazing. Guess there's something worth saying, but... Then I want to hear it! <sighs> well, Kiramika came yesterday again. You're crapping me. You expect me to believe she came all the way here again? You even have proof like the glass from last time? Well, if I may interject. You've been listening, boss? Oh yeah, she has that video. The walls are pretty thin. Oh. Anyway, she did. I even took a pic with her. 
She did what? Eh. Let's see. Why, why, why? I try to make an appointment with her and she's always busy. But you just sit there and she just comes waltzing over? It's not fair. Hey, if I knew how the hell stuff like that happened, I'd share my secrets. I'm just as baffled as you are right now. You did not miss bath time, you creepy weirdo. Yeah, but I bet you're not even that much of a fan anyway, are you? You're not wrong. Can you at least tell me how nice she was as a client? Very graceful client, like the last time. A really nice girl. I'm gonna give you my number. If she ever comes back, let me know, you hear? N no. A absolutely not, no. I'm not gonna let you keep her to yourself. I'm not calling you. You are not having my number. I really doubt you'll come back again, though. She already came twice, so I'm not taking any chances. Ugh. I need something to drown the saying with. Give me something girly, would you? Okay. She needs a girly drink. Yeah, I'll give you a sugar rush. Wait, hold on. Is there an... Okay, no, it's not the blue fairy. I thought there's something else. Let me just reset that. I can put even more alcohol into, but... Yeah, it's not any of the girly drinks. I can't remember what it is. But anyways... You're getting a large girly drink with a poop ton of cometrine. There you go. Whew. Let's just chill a bit. Still not fair. You know, you're boring today. You're not chatting that much, nor are you doing anything funny. Maybe the whole peak viewership thing is just you. Eh? Maybe this bar and me both had nothing to do with the spike. Maybe you were just that good. Are you hitting on me? No. Am not. I am kind of trying to get you to leave. Pronto. Don't be so hard on the girl. She's fun. Another nuisance shows up. Ah, Joe hates me. It's not hate. It's just... Wait, I'm not having this conversation again. Boring. Hey, hey. You're curious, right? About his partner? Want to know who it was? Do, do you know? Maybe, maybe not. That maybe not settles it then. Not taking any chances. Oh, come on. Uh, bartender, you're making a lot of faces there. It's nothing, really. Do the two bartenders break or something? Should I call the manager? Tech support? Hey, Joe. Inner and outer voice. Remember? Crap. What? We screwed? Aside from that guy, I mean? Um, uh... Say, you're out the calm today. Well, we're getting more sleep lately. That's good. That way I don't feel like if I stop speaking, I'll die. Crash is one hell of a drug. And wouldn't you know, I can actually make a premium time if I go commando. Huh? But come on. I'm getting bored out of my butt here. Do something. I'm not a dog. You can't just ask me to roll over, you know. Mind if I entertain you a bit then? Boss? You and Gil take a break. I'll entertain them to see here. Um. Alright. Ah, Jill. By that, I meant to take Gil with you. I don't want him humming to the middle of the road and right into a truck's grill. Heh. <laughs> grill Gil. Right. Alright, Gil, come with me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, streaming Chon came back. But it seems like Betty and Deal might actually have a thing going on. So. I guess that's all she wrote for this episode. And I've said this in pretty much every episode, but I just absolutely love this game. I don't want it to ever end, ever. I hope that it's a really, really long game, but we'll see. Ooh, wait a minute. Nah, nah, I'll have to save this for the next time, because I saved, and the save system is weird. You've, you've seen all of my saves, pretty much. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, it really helps out a lot. If you have suggestions for other games you need to play, let me know down in the comments. Again, thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next episode of Cheese. Catch y'all later.